Hey everybody, welcome back to Battleborn. Today I got another game of capture for you. This time we are playing as Galilea and we are on the Temple's map. So first things first, I guess, I'll throw up the gear loadout now. As you can see, attack speed, attack damage, and movement speed. Pretty standard melee slash uh, CQC loadout. Attack speed, you swing the sword more. Attack damage. Said swings hurt more, and movement speed lets me keep up with my victims. <laughs> uh, but like I said in the intro, I'm playing as Galilea, and I picked Galilea because I have a feeling she's going to be nerfed, like super hard in the coming future. Uh, she's her skills are just too good, you know, especially her f level one mutation of Vortex. Like you'll see it a quite a bit. Boom, right there. You just saw it there. She was what half a yard away, and she still got dragged into my uh, what the fuck is that called? Whatever that is, desecration field, I guess we'll call it. Even though I died there, I still uh, did a chunk of damage to her. But that is like a super overpowered skill, and there are a couple more that get like incredibly overpowered skills. But hers are some of the most because you throw the shield, you stun them. You suck them in, and then they pretty much die, because you do so much damage. Like that, look at that, I just whipped Whiskey into my force field and took down almost half of his uh, health bar. That's insane. Also, Galt is Scorpion, apparently. He, uh, he loves... I wish he got, like, a taunt that was like, get over here. Because that would make him, like, one of the best characters. Bump, smack him with my shield. Yeah, like, I don't know. Her build up with corruption and her getting more attack damage plus this fucking vortex. Like, all you need is that tier one skill, and you pretty much dominate most of the other Battleborn. Like, unless they have movement speed and they can get away from you super hard, even then, you see the shield just absolutely stops them. Like, I hate seeing Galilea on the other team. Especially with somebody like Alani or Miko who can heal them. Because if she stays up with that health, she's going to decimate everybody. Especially if she gets the skill where she recovers her shield, she gets more health regen. She gets health regen, I think, passively? I don't know if it's just due to the corruption or something like that. But she gets health regen just passively. I know Abyssal form does that, but I'm not we're not really up on my uh, my skills with her. I just know, uh, pick this one and things die. Throw shield, things die quicker. Suck them in. And I think I pretty much made uh, the Jupacabra. Oh, fuck, I forgot that was the guy's name. That's such a great name. I don't know why it makes me giggle. I don't know. Come on, kill the Alani, me. Throw the shield. Oh, I don't have the shield. Alani on the Alani violence. Get him. Get him. Alani, kill. There you go. Somebody killed it. I don't know if it was the Alani. But, uh, I don't know. She's got a shield that I think blocks, what, a thousand damage or like close to a thousand damage? Plus the skill that when she blocks damage, boink. Look at that. Team player. Team player star goes to me for the game because I just knocked that fucker out and let everybody take the kill. Uh, but she, like I was saying, she gets a skill that, uh, when you're blocking and you get, I'm not sure if it's when you're blocking or, uh, I think it's just when your corruption is high enough that you get health regen, more health regen. So it's like shield up, also attack speed up, but shield up, absorb the damage. Like if you're facing a turret, you could just sit there all day, get that, uh, corruption up. And then whoop ass, because your attack damage is incredibly high. Look at that, it's not even fair. That's not even fair. I'm so, God, I felt so bad after this kill, because that didn't even hit her. That just ricocheted and stunned her. And I don't even think I took that skill. But that's, I don't, kill streak. Yeah, she's, and now I'm just bored and just going to kick this Varelsi's ass. But like her, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I lost him for a minute. Um, I don't know, but like, she's one of the best melee characters in the game just because she can absorb that damage. And there was me being 
super uh, conceited and uh, looking at my score, being like, mm, what's my KDR for this game? Is it good? It's good. But her, um, uh, Wrath, Wrath is super, anybody who can steal health and be a melee character, well, I guess all melee characters steal health. That's broken as well. I forgot about that skill. Oh, shit. The silent skill is so good. Like, you saw in the beginning I was looking at the teams before picking my skills. Yeah, that's why. If there's a healer on the team, I will go with the shield. Whenever something's hit by a shield, it's wounded and cannot be, um, cannot heal. There's also me taking advantage of the, uh, turret with my shield. And sucked in. And... She's dead. Well, not yet. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, shit, I didn't... She ended my kill streak, and there's me being narcissistic again. But I'll pretty much just look at the starting lineup going, okay, so let me get the wound so they don't heal, and let me get silence. Silence is never an issue, because I will always take it. 100% of the time. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, uh, melee characters who are kind of broken. There's a lot of characters in this that you can consider broken. I find myself more and more playing PvP going, fucking, this character's broken, fix it, Ooh. But then me going, oh wait, no, I just suck as the character I was playing, or just having a really bad game. There's the classic combo, knock them the fuck out, draw them in, and murder. But Alani's, Alani could be considered broken too, they just nerfed her health, like, super hard. Uh, I think they took down by 400. So, 1,400 health for a healer is a little high. I don't, I don't really know what Miko's is, but uh, there's the health regen. Health regen every second for the abyssal, um, not abyssal form, the corruption. But, like, I don't know. I feel like Thorn, there's Thorn, boom, getting just absolutely mutilated by me. Just slaughtered. Just poor girl. Just, that's, I think that's the only thing. Did that save her? Yeah, it saved her. But I, th I think Thorn needs a... A buff. There are a couple players that, or characters that need a buff. Um, Wrath sure as hell doesn't. I kind of giggled to myself when I was on the uh, the Gearbox official forums, and there was a thread that said, uh, "Wrath needs a buff," and they wrote like an essay on like why Crossblade is one of the worst things in the game, and then there was just one reply going, "Uh, no, it's not. It's pretty broken actually. It's one of the most overpowered ones." Plus, he gets health regen every time he hits health, and he also gets that fucking spin dance that he gets. So, how is he need a buff? Uh, if you get somebody who plays Raina right, she's pretty broke as well. Just giving uh, overshields to everybody like that. That stops me from killing her, like, almost immediately. But I am Galilea, and uh, I will seek blood. I will doink, throw my shield and obliterate. And it's, I don't know. Like, I can't even, I say, I'm saying this like, oh, she's broken, she needs to be fixed. But on the other end of it, it's like, I don't know how I would fix her. Like, you, if you take away the silence one, you have to give her something else that's also useful. Because that's why people pick it. It's really useful. So close to getting this final kill. So close. But yeah, I don't know how I would fix her. That's the thing. Like, her shield's gonna stun. That's a just that's just a passive thing from her thing. Uh, that skill. That's just what it does. So you can't really fix that. And that's a domination. That's just total domination. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, I suggest you. I suggest you put your suggestions in the suggestion box. God, I sound like a tool. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I say I, I can come on here and be like, this character's broken. This character's broken. This character's broken. I don't know how I would fix them, because in order to fix them, you would have to take some things off of them and replace them with shittier things? I don't know. Damn, did I was the only one on my team that died. Everybody else went flawless. 3-0, 1-0, 3-0, 7-0 for the Alani. Like, it makes my heart warm, that seeing like healers going on 7-0, 8-0 runs. Oh, love it. But we are at the end of the video, so I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, you know what to do. And until next time, goodbye.